has it all the opposite direction words. Now these opposite direction words are, let us say, however. So when I say the building, the, the building's architecture is really exceptionally well, exceptionally good, but or however, then we know that now I will say something negative about the building. Okay? So such is the help of this clues. They help you to know which part of uh, the paragraph to put first. Okay? So let us say it has said however. Now you know that whatever part comes after it, the before part should be opposite to it. Understood? So it helps you to know which information to put first, which information to put second if there are two contrast ideas. Okay, so what is talking about the advantages of internet? Let us say there are six sentences. So two sentences are talking about advantages of <laughs> Okay, so two uh, uh, and the three sentences are talking about disadvantages of banks. Okay, so now you know with the help of indicators which sentence you will put first. So let us say it says bank has many advantages. It helps us to save money. It also provides us loan whenever required. However, okay, so one sentence starts with however. So you know that this indicator part will always come second. Okay, so however containing part will come second. So however starts negative points of the banks. That means positive points of banks wherever they are will be placed first. Understood now? So this is how they can help you. But remember, in parachimble, they can also pick up the sentences from somewhere in the middle of an essay. In this case, it might as well start with a word like however. Okay? So they are not always a uh, sure guarantee that they mean something uh, they mean something else has to come first. Understood? But you need to see if this is the case, if both kind of points are there, then certainly this is the case. Okay? Got it? So now, however, what uh, other words are there in this? <coughs> but Sorry. usually the sentence never starts with but because your writings, the paragraphs are taken from a very good uh, article and that would mean that he uses very good English. Okay. And if this is the case, but and because, a sentence never starts with these words. Although. Although, yes. Although, Though, somehow uh, is not that common. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Now, I will not put on the other hand in this list, but you know, if there is on the other hand, there has to be on one hand also. Okay, so look for that. Understood? So now, same directional words. So now something that shows you same kind of idea or same kind of piece of information is coming. For example, this room is spacious. Moreover, so what do you expect me to tell about the room now? Positive or negative? Positive. Obviously positive. Right? So when you see same direction words, you know that same kind of uh, ideas will come together. Okay, so let us say in one of the five sentences, it mentions that banks have an added advantage. Okay, and then somewhere in the sentence it says, moreover, banks uh, are always, uh, banks always come in handy when we are in emergency. So now you know it, it contains moreover. So obviously that positive information will come second. If there is other positive information about the bank, that will come first. Understood? Okay. So what are these words? There are many other words. We are just doing the main ones. Moreover, furthermore, also, in addition to and a similar way to add to it. Okay? So these are some of the words that we use to indicate 
same kind of information. Got it? Okay. So now we have done how many? Five rows. So now, one of the sentence says, the United Nations is considering Ramsar sites of Rajasthan for the heritage sites. Okay, and then one of the sentence says, the UN has uh, already accepted India's request for the same. Okay, so now see one has UN, another has United Nations. So what do you think should come first? United Nations. Obviously United Nations, right? So remember abbreviations will always come second and full forms will always come first. Got it? Same is the case for names. Now in one of the sentence it says Narendra Modi, uh, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi has started two new movements. One of them is Swachh Bharat. Okay? And then one of the sentence says Mr. Modi is uh, on his uh, way to make India clean and green. Right? So now tell me what would come first? Obviously, that gives a full reference of his name, Narendra Modi. Okay? Second sentence only refers to his last name. So, remember, whenever there is a last name, look for if the name with the first name is given. Okay? So, we will choose that first and the last name containing sentence will come second. Okay? So, if it is about names of persons, then last name reference is always second and first name reference is always first. Are you good with this? Now last clue. If there is any doubt in this, please ask. So now We were talking about advantages and disadvantages of banks, right? So let us say we are writing an essay on uh, banks in India. Okay? So now how would you start your essay? Yes? Sean, are you thinking that they change the examples? Or are you thinking about the essay? Yes? How would you start an essay that, uh, that has a title, Banks in India? Come on. Generally, just tell me the structure of an essay. How does it go? So, we introduce, we just gave an introduction, right? We just gave a light introduction and then what would be first paragraph, uh, second paragraph about? It's a description of the roles of banks. The roles of banks, importance of banks, then? The advantages. Advantages of banks. So now, if we talk about advantages of banks, tell me what advantage of banks. They give loans. Uh, today's best advantage. Huh? So, will you start now directly with the second advantage or will you uh, give me some explanation for the same point first? You will give me explanation, right? So, what happens in an essay? Now, remember, paratrippers are also kind of short essays or at least taken from the essay. So, they also will follow the same structure as it goes in a uh, general standard essay. Okay? So, what do we expect from an essay? That it gives an idea, then it 
explains the idea. Okay, so that means what is happening? We start from general and then we move to specific. Okay, now see the point here in your paradigm would be as large as a very good point of two sentences. Usually it doesn't happen. So it, it could be that they have just expanded on one term and this becomes the next sentence then. So let us uh, talk about it a little more. Uh, India has many uh, classical forms which have uh, got, uh, gotten the worldwide attention. Okay, Kathakali is one among them. So now Kathakali is one among them is a second sentence. So now tell me which will come first, first or the second Kathakali continuous sentence. Which will you put first in the sequence? First, now you see, there is not like a whole point getting explained here. But what is happening? A small classical forms has expanded now and we have given uh, more explanation to that. That is Kathagal. So we have specified which classical form. Right? So we are again going from general to specific. So what I mean to say is, it could be a whole line idea or it could be just a word. But remember, it is going from general to specific. For example, it, uh, the sentence talks about international countries. Or let us say, many, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So it says that uh, many international, or uh, it was an international meet, so many countries came there. Okay, and then in one of the sentences it says US and, uh, USA and China were among the um, very enthusiastic participants. Okay, so now tell me which will come first. Many countries continuous sentences will come first because it just talks about general, very broad view. But then it comes to specified countries may. Okay, so this is how it goes. So general to specific, we are talking about idea and then explanation of the idea or it could be expansion of the idea or it could be elaboration of the idea. Now idea here could be a whole sentence or it could be just a okay, root. Just remember this moment. Now, is there any couple of art uh, that is perfect? No, right? So, they need a positive change. So, on the basis of it, you can remember this. But they need time to bring a change in them, right? Because change doesn't come overnight. So, remember this theory. The most rare personal change in couple with time and duration. Review. Easy. So now let us expand those. Demonstrate means demonstrating pronouns. A means articles. Personal means personal pronouns. Change means the change words that we get. Okay, transition words. Tapa here means see all the clues that we have seen today are to find one clue. That is mandatory pair. What do we do? One clue, one clue, right? So what are we doing? We are putting a sequence in a pair. Which sentence comes first and which sentence comes second? So that thing is pair. We are doing it in pairs. If we are able to find, if there are five sentences and we are able to find two part of mandatory pairs, that means the whole sequence is set already. Right? So this is what the strategy is about. Then time means and how does it go? Past to present. Abbreviation. Full forms first, last names or abbreviation short words, second. One thing that is not covered in this is idea example. That I hope you can remember. And this is crucial because if nothing else works, couple means mandatory pair. All we have done is in the one to one to sequence, right? So that is pair. So now, if nothing else works, remember this will always work. Or this will always work. Okay, so you have to keep an eye on this. What is the broader view of the picture is given? What is the narrower view of the picture? Narrower view will always come second, broader view will always
definitely have digital sum 1479. All the numbers with the digital sum 1479 are 